Scrub it up, up, one move it in the top, up, 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 up. Scrub it up, up, one move it in the top. Scrub it up, up, one move it in the top. One move up, one move up, one move up. friend. Isn't she so cool? We're like best friends. I love her so much. I know. What do you want for lunch? Like I'm so hungry. Girl, I'm so hungry. Wait, shh. That's him. Look at that guy back there. He's so cute. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Do you think he knows me? I showered today, so I'm gonna go say hi. Jody. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I made this loofah costume. It's not going to be a real DIY just because it's already made, but I'm going to go through some of the materials that you'll need as well as the process to make this real easy for you if you want to try this. What you'll need is a bed skirt, some tool, 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 elastic, and burlap. I found my bed skirt at Goodwill. I picked one that had a nice little flounce to it, so it was less sewing than I had to do. I picked up the elastic, burlap, and tool from Walmart. What I did was cut out the middle portion of the bed skirt that lays over the bed. So all I had to work with was the trim, and then I hand sewed the elastic into the bed skirt. As you can see here, I just flipped the top of my bed skirt over the elastic and stitched away. The bed skirt is what will cover majority of your body, so you don't have to use a bajillion yards of tulle. Next, you'll need to measure some elastic around your chest and hips, as this will be the foundation for the top and bottom of your loofah. Once I have the right measurements, I stitched the ends of my elastic together and use string to tie my elastic to my loofah bits. <laughs> the reason I didn't sew the elastic to my loofah is because you want the tool to fro, fro, <laughs> flow freely and when it's tied in a few places instead of sewed, it gives off more of like a three-dimensional look. Every loofah needs a string, so this is also a great way to keep the top up. I took some burlap and braided it. So if I were to make this again, I would use a ribbon or string because the burlap was a bit itchy around my neck, TBH. Once I had my burlap braid, I just took two safety pins and pinned it to the top. So you would put your top on first, unpin one side of the burlap, lay it around the back of your neck, and then pin the other side. And that's basically how you would get the top on. Now, I had some extra tool laying around, so I decided to make a little headpiece, which also doubles as a bracelet because, let's be honest, you don't want to be a basic loofah. Now for the makeup bit, I'm going to go a little overboard with the bath theme. I wanted people to really get it, so I'm creating my own eye stencil. This is a great makeup tip I learned if you don't have a steady hand. Right now I'm picking the seafoam color for my eyes, and then I'll just be dabbing that over my stencil. And now I'm going to go in with a blue sparkly eyeliner just because it's glittery and it's blue and it's pretty. <laughs> Look how stubby my eyelashes were last year. Watch my how to grow long eyelashes video linked down below if you want to learn how to grow long eyelashes. But yeah, I filmed this last year. So there might be a better way to do this. If you know how, please leave me a comment down below. But I used eyelash glue as the base for my glitter lip. I found loose glitter at Walmart in the makeup section and I just dabbed it on. And voila! A beautiful loofah costume that can come in all sizes and colors. So question, are you planning on dressing up for Halloween? If you are, leave me a comment down below. I can't wait to see your costume idea. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully you'll be back next week to see my next video. Bye!